Leanne Henry and I'm back with another video. So in my last video, I told you guys about what I have in my purse as a realtor, but I told you that the realty is really in my trunk. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in here, okay? So when I open my trunk, the very first thing that you'll probably notice is a child's booster seat. Now you may ask me, Leanne, you don't have any children. Why do you have a child's booster seat? Well, I have a godson. And when I pick him up, I want him to ride safely and in style. So that's why I have this booster seat. So next I have an open house kit slash a real estate kit. It just has a number of things in it that you may potentially need as a realtor. I have Lysol. I have a roll of toilet paper because you never know when you go into those houses that are empty and you really just gotta go. I also have hand sanitizer, more hand sanitizer and gloves. I have one stray tampon, cause again, you never know. And then a candle that's called vacation. I like to light candles when I'm at open houses just to make it smell really, really great in there. Um, and then I have a, a box of business cards that I give out when I'm at open houses. So that's what's in this box. I keep it in this little bin cause it's just easy to carry around. I also have a pair of socks in here because um, in the summer months when you're wearing sandals and you're going into a house and you don't want to walk around barefoot, but you do need to take your shoes off. It's really good to keep a pair of socks as well. So I usually have a few of these bins in my trunk, but right now they're actually at some of the properties that I have listed. So what I do with these bins is I fill them up with shoe covers and I put them by the front door of my listings along with the MLS listing sheet, uh, hand sanitizer and masks. So typically I keep a bunch of these in my trunk just so that I have them ready. But right now what's in this bin is actually a lighter uh, to light said candle that I just showed you guys. I also have a gigantic box of hand and foot warmers because I am a huge fan of watching the sunset and um, sometimes it gets cold once the sun sets. So I usually have these in my trunk, a part of like my summer kit. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Leanne underscore Henry, you would have seen earlier before the summer started me like cleaning up my trunk and getting rid of all the stuff and then re-upping on my summer kit. So a lot of the stuff you guys will see in here is stuff for my summer kit even though summer is unfortunately over. But that's okay, because we're still ready for whatever. Now, of course, you're not a realtor unless you have a bunch of random sold signs in your trunk, okay? I like to have my clients choose which one they want to use for their pictures. A lot of them pick this gold one, um, but I do have options. So I have this blue one. This one is typically get gets hung on the, uh, the sign that goes out in someone's front yard, but people can also take pictures with this one as well. And then I have this new listing sign that sometimes I'll use it to take, you know, pictures for Instagram or hang it, you know, under listing sign. Usually I don't use this one too often just because I just don't really need to. Back here, I actually have a, a neck pillow because I love to travel, right? I'm always, always, always traveling. And it seems to be the one thing that I always forget when I get to the airport is a freaking neck pillow. So I actually just keep one in my trunk as a just in case so that if I forget it at home, then I know I have one in my trunk. Now, way, way back under here, I actually have a lawn chair. <laughs> so I usually have two of these, but one of them is actually in um, my fiance's trunk right now. This was a part of my summer kit for sunrise or sunset watching good random open house that just does not have any chairs anywhere. If it really came down to it, I would go and pull this out, but it's just really good to have a chair in your trunk. I had a client once where she brought her elderly mother to look at the properties and her mom was just having a hard time walking around. So in some of the houses that weren't staged or didn't have any furniture in them, I was able to take this chair out and let her sit in the living room or wherever until we were finished walking through the house. So it's really, really good to have this chair available just for whatever could potentially come up. Now in this random bin, <laughs> there are so many things in this bin. So we're gonna sit down to talk about it. I actually have a small portable umbrella. I have a thing of gel. <laughs> so sometimes when my hair isn't done and I have it slicked down, like I can get caught in inclement weather or something and my hair just looks a mess. So the ability to just hurry up and slick it down again um, and look professional is something important to me. So that's why I have gel. In this bag right here are actually a bunch of shoe covers. So like I said earlier, I 
I keep shoe covers on me for my listings. So I have another bag, um, a couple of bags that like two other listings that I have right now, but I still always keep shoe covers with me because sometimes when you walk into somebody else's listing, then maybe they ran out of shoe covers or maybe it's raining or something like that. So it's really good to keep a bunch of shoe covers with you as a realtor. So I have face masks because again, uh, we are still in a global pandemic, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're masking up and staying safe. And then a myriad of lock boxes. So um, a lot of my electronic lock boxes, again, are on listings right now, but I have, um, you know, this is an electronic lock box. This is another type of lock box. This is another type of lock box. And this is another type of lock box. So I have a bunch of lock boxes in my trunk, ready for whatever, for these listings to pop up. So this is actually tissue paper. Um, sometimes when I go to closings, I'll like, I just forget to grab the gift. Don't judge me, judge your mama, okay? But sometimes if I need to grab a last minute gift, then I just like hurry up and wrap it in my car. So I have tissue paper and I usually have wine gift bags in my car as well, but I used the last two um, at closings that I had last week. I have more in my basement, so I'm just gonna add more to my car, but keeping gift wrap and things like that is a really, really good idea, okay? More tissue, so this is just really good to have car napkins. I have a tire foam for my tires. And then I have uh, these little trees. So this is my favorite kind of little tree. It's actually the new car scent. Every time people get in my car, they tell me how good it smells. Random microfiber cloths, a hammer, because again, you never know. Um, a tissue box. So sometimes I'll put a tissue box out at the open house for people who just really need to, I don't know, blow their nose or something. I don't know. I don't ask any questions. I just provide what they need. So all of that is in this amazing bin that actually came standard with my car. Continuing on with the summer trend that I was talking about, I actually have a sun hat. <laughs> um, so it's like a cooling sun hat. So if I was ever just somewhere and I needed shade, then that's it, okay? And then I have a towel. You should just really have a towel in your car, no matter what. There's been a couple of times where like I've gone to a property and there was a, a random spill or something that I needed to hurry up and clean up before my clients got there. So having a towel in your car is a really, really great asset, especially as a realtor. And then snacks, okay? So I have Kind Bars. I have uh, Ritz crackers and peanut butter. I have a roll of Pringles, sour cream and onion. And then I have these um, like apple cinnamon, uh, like breakfast bars from Target. I try to keep snacks that are healthy and like relatively high in calories so that if I'm just on the go, then I can get a quick burst of whatever it is that I need. And then I go on with my day. If you are very heavy with buyers and you are in your car all the time, then I highly suggest getting some sort of like snack situation in your car. So this is a mosquito repellent system. So I got it from, I believe like Dunham's or some sort of sporting place, but it's great because it repels mosquitoes without any spray or anything like that. It just has like this little insert that you put over the top and it just repels them all around you. So again, like I said, I really love to watch sunsets. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that I am a sucker for a Detroit sunset. So oftentimes once the sun goes down, then mosquitoes come out to play. So I'll turn this thing on and I'm usually pretty good to just still sit out there for at least 30 to 45 more minutes. And just enjoy the vibe. And then baby wipes. So I keep baby wipes in my car again as a just in case, as a you never know kind of situation. There's times where like I'll touch a doorknob on a property and it's super, super sticky and there's no soap and water in the house or just whatever. So having baby wipes is a really, really helpful thing as well. So there were two more things that were inside of my car that were not necessarily in my trunk, but I still keep them on me at all times. So one of them is a tape measure. Please, if you don't already keep a tape measure on you, you really need to make sure that you get one because oftentimes when people are moving into their house or they're doing their final walkthrough or something like that, they want to know the dimensions of the rooms and the spaces so they can plan their furniture. That's not something that they're just randomly going to carry around, but you as a realtor being the prepared person that you are, you're going to have a tape measure. So I cannot count how many times my clients have been so extremely impressed with me because I have a tape measure. Okay. Ooh, that scared me. Almost got me in my face. Uh-huh. <laughs> tape measure, tape measure, tape measure, tape measure. And get you a good one too. Don't just go to like 
the dollar store. All right, just get you one that got a little weight to it. Okay. And then I have two really big umbrellas. So this one was actually given to me by my lender. And this one um, came from Target. It's like a totes umbrella. But it's really great to have two giant umbrellas because when you're showing houses to clients and it's raining, they're not really gonna think to bring a, a big enough umbrella for like what the situation is. Y'all see how big this umbrella is? It's giant, it could be like two or three people under it, right? So what I'll do is I'll greet them at their car. So when they pull up for the showing, I'll go, I'll greet them at their car, they open up their door and I walk them inside so they don't have to get wet, guys. But it's all about customer service in real estate doing whatever you can to make sure your client is happy, to make sure that they just feel like they're so impressed with you and that they chose the right realtor, okay? Anything that you can do to make their experience more luxury, no matter what price point that they're in. Being greeted at your door with an umbrella while it's raining just feels luxurious. And that's what I like to provide. <laughs> so yeah, this is now my empty trunk and then everything that you see before you is everything that I keep in my trunk. <laughs> but it's just a really great way for me to make sure that I'm staying on top of my game as a realtor, that I'm always prepared for the things that they need. So if there's anything that I forgot, let me know in the comments below. Drop some suggestions. Is there anything that I had in my car that you're now gonna put in yours that you hadn't thought of? Like, let me know. But in the meantime, in between time, always remember that you, yes, you are pure gold and i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to like comment subscribe all that jazz and meet me in the next video okay bye guys